Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. Thank you again so much for our time together. We're going to have a great time in the services today. I'm preaching out of Acts chapter 18. We've talked about the planting, plowing season of a church, the planting season of the church. Today we're going to talk about how a church is birthed. Opposition brings focused ministry. Focused ministry brings separation. Separation births the church. But right now, let's go back to Peter and his wonderful fish in John chapter 21. If there was ever a man who loved fish, it was Peter. He'd grown up his whole life fishing. This was his business. This was his life. Until one day, after helping Jesus by allowing him to use his boat, and Jesus taught the multitudes on the shore, Jesus looked at him and said, Peter, let your nets down over this other side. Peter said, Lord, we've worked hard all night, but because you say so, I'll do it. And Jesus gave him the greatest catch of fish of his life. He had to call another boat to help carry the fish in because his boat was about to sink with the weight of the fish. Peter went from a failure to an outstanding success in the obedience of one command. Jesus made Peter a very rich man on that day. And then he looked at him in the middle of all of this prosperity with all of these fish and said, Peter, follow me and I'll make you fisher of men. And Peter walked away from the greatest harvest of his life. Peter walked away from the greatest outpouring of wealth in his life, and he followed Jesus into the ministry. Then Jesus dies, and he rises again. And when Jesus goes and looks for the disciples, they're out on their boats doing what they know to do again. They're fishing. Peter sees Jesus along the shore, jumps into the water and swims to shore because he knows who it is. Jesus is cooking them breakfast. Verse 15, when they'd finished eating, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you truly love me more than these? What are the these? The great harvest of fish they've just brought in again. The great harvest of fish they just brought in again. Peter, do you love me more than these? Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Feed my lambs. Now, brothers and sisters, he walks him through several questions about love, but the first question to me is maybe the most fascinating. Do you love me more than your success? Then take care, feed my lambs. Do what you're supposed to do. You're now a shepherd. Feed the people of God. Quit going out making money for yourself. Take care of my people. Take care of my lambs. Take care of my babies that are being born. Peter, quit putting yourself first. Take care of my lambs. If you love me, you'll feed my lambs. If you love me more than the wealth and more than the prosperity and more than all that I've given you, then you'll take care of my lambs. Now, some of you are listening to me today, and please forgive me. If Jesus looked at you and gave you the greatest harvest of prosperity once in your life and then said, come follow me, and you walked away from it, great. But when Jesus does it a second time and then gives you a second opportunity to walk away from it all, and this time you really know what you're getting into, you know you're walking into the suffering, you know you're walking into pain, you know you're walking into persecution, but you have a responsibility to take care of the lambs, the babies. Would you do it? Do you love him enough to walk away from wealth? Do you love him enough to walk away from prosperity? Now, I'm a prosperity preacher, but do you love God enough to walk away from prosperity to do the work of God? Some of you, God's called you, but he's made you very successful, <laughs> just like he did Peter. And you think that success is a circumstantial guidance that you should remain in your career, that you should remain in your business. No, he's just seen, do you love me enough to walk away from success? Do you love me or do you love what I do for you? At some point, each one of us must make a decision. What are we going to do about those fish? 